Hello, and welcome back to MMM Cast or mm-hmm. Cast. We'll get it. That's that was horrible. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining tonight. Uh, tonight we're actually going to do uh, two sessions. I'm. I don't know why I said actually. That's what we always do. First one is going to be Dungeons Dragons Fifth Edition. Second is going to be Chronicles of Darkness. Um, yeah, we'll jump into Fifth Edition here. Who wants to recap what happened last week? Um, I we- almost sold my soul. Yeah. You did something like arguably worse. Yeah. Rook, <laughs> you want to take over? <laughs> what did I do? No, I mean, you were just you were about to talk, so. Oh. You want to recap? Oh, I was going to make up some ridiculous thing that wasn't a recap at all. So it's probably best that somebody actually recap. Well, okay, we're going so... to save some children from at Sutton because we did teleport it there. Saved some money. We finally got... So we started off in the bar with the devil dude. And we started... We came up to talk with him with Bishop and Dash upstairs. Mm-hmm. And we tried to bargain with him on getting a few extra days on... I forget what the guy's name was. Ian. Ian on his sentence um, and because we figured that even if we protect him for just those two days we fulfill their contract and then whatever happens after that happens uh, so we attempted to bargain with him uh, went back and forth for a few things and then he said that he would take a body in place um, I mean yeah he, he agreed that a uh, soul for a soul would be a good trade um or he would take information on shah or information on any of the plentiful patrons that you all have um that's right so we were going to use miranda's body because shah had disintegrated that and so had left his mark and then when we brought him down we went over the contract and stuff and he tried to do a few loopholes to make us liable for information even after the contract was finished and then we went to talk to Gimbal about it, and Gimbal said, screw that, and dropped the ward and gave him Ian. Yep. Yep, and after that, so not getting paid for that contract. Uh, we got paid for the first um, half of it. Did yeah, you? No, he gave, we made him give us the first night up front. And yeah. he said, you said specifically that all of gold that had been given to us, we got to keep. Mm-hmm. I gold. thought he only gave you the gold for the spell scrolls that you purchased, but okay. I'm, no, I'm pretty sure he gave us the first half up front because we were like, this is dangerous. Sure. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> but um, he wouldn't give us the second half, which means that it was... Right. No, because you guys weren't in the yeah. second day yet. Um, yeah, so after that, you traveled to back to the Temple of Serenry and met up with Maxwell, with the third contract that you guys uh, enlisted yourselves in. Um, heading your way over to Sutton, the last thing that we ended up on was going through the uh, teleportation circle to the outskirts of the Titan's Gates um, and kind of emerging into this kind of situation of the Titan's Gates, seeing the uh, the beautiful, like, magic-crested uh, <laughs> gates themselves. Um, and we will pick up whilst on a caravan. You guys found a caravan to ride through to Sutton. And we'll say we're uh, about a day in right now. How much did this cost us? So you guys found it um, relatively cheap. It was someone that Maxwell knew, so he gave you guys a ride for free. The Maxwell discount? Yeah, the Maxwell discount. I mean, can I cook for super fair for myself? I mean, you can always cook. The fair is free, Mm -hmm. but you can always cook. Oh, I'm not going to cook. I'm on vacation. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness it was Maxwell and not Minwell. Leave the stream. Oh yeah, is there any way that no one else out. heard my Vanished. <laughs> no one else heard my joke. Not fair. What, what was your joke, Hank? It's Maxwell good to the last trap. <laughs> you can also leave. <laughs> All right. Um on the road to Sutton, about a day in, have another day to go. Uh, what's everyone doing? Uh, Keeping watch. 
I think I'm probably keeping Gimbal company because I feel like he's probably still kind of weird, maybe. Uh, okay. I'm fine. Percep perception check. Practicing some spells every once in a while, fine. some new ones that I found. Kind of came to me in the night, I guess. Seven. Two to Seven perception? With the spells. Okay. Um, yeah, you're distracted trying to remember these spells that uh, you had a dream about trying to wait, are we create all make a perception check? 21. He said he was doing a watch, so oh. that's why he oh. made one. I thought you told me it talking to Kimball. Sorry, my mm -hmm. bad. So you guys are in kind of a caravan of two separate uh, wagons, one in front, one in back. Uh, no room inside the wagons themselves, so you're kind of walking in the middle and, and around them. Um, you have, uh, I would assume, uh, before you guys left, probably picked up some kind of camping gear or, or gear to be able to sleep out in the... Uh, well, we were, you need we were to. walking, so I'm assuming we had that. Stuff. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, and like the, the travel you're going to do after this is going to be something of similar so uh, i would say you guys have all that that you and need. additionally um i took liamans so we do have like housing okay Perfect. but it should hold all of us with maxwell mm -hmm. yeah i mean i don't know why maxwell's our responsibility but because we're good he does have the, us. he does have the money yeah <laughs> well then he can pay us for lodging every night <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you really like this? He lost his little brother. You're just pulling it all out of him. <laughs> That's hard month, okay? <laughs> um, anyone talking to Maxwell or doing anything like that? Well, I'm gonna kind of Maxwell. Things go really terribly wrong. So. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you might be able to tell us about your? Uh... Your town or your people? Um, no, it's a small town. Um, it's kind of right on the river, so we do a lot of uh, a lot of trade with Dugaldorn Keep and kind of peddle their wares across uh, down to Squall's End. Um, but yeah, I mean, relatively small, relatively quiet, other than what's been going on and my sister being taken, and um, that's about it. What yeah, happens? Keep. That's a uh, one of the dwarves uh, keeps. Um, they I don't know do mining and making weapons and stuff like that. So you lost your brother and your sister. No, just my sister. Let me change that really quick in my notes. Make an insight. All of us. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> a lot. Just twenty. Yeah, he definitely told you, brother, before. That's what I thought. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on him now. Everything okay. he says, make sure he's not full of lies. Yeah. <laughs> sketchy, Mr. Maxwell. Kind of like look him in the eye like, are you sure you don't know anything else you could tell us? No, I mean, what else would you like to know? Uh, this is the economic structure of your village. If there's any political parties that are majorly in play that we'd have to be concerned about as uh, people coming in from the outside. Is it your mayor of the town that asked us to come here or was it a personal quest? Uh, is there addition? No, it, it was definitely the mayor. Of the, yeah, it was uh, the town lord barrack. He definitely asked everyone to or me to go and find a contract. Are there additional powers that play aside from Lord Barrack? Um. No, we have kind of a smaller military. I think it's somewhere around like 70 people from the town. Um, there's not really much that happens in Sutton. We're pretty well protected by Dogledorm. There isn't anybody that would want Mr. Uh, sorry, Lord Barrick out of power? Lord, Lord Forgrave. Forgrave, I apologize. Yeah. Um, not that I know if he saved the town uh, when it was first or when he first came to power around five years ago. So everyone thinks he's a hero. What did he save the town from? I mean, there was this, I don't really remember, but there was this beast that kept attacking and he slain it. Ooh, was it a uh, kind of leapus? Because we have experience with those. I don't know what that is. So may maybe. Hmm. Hold on. I thought it was the 
temple that sent him, not the Lord, dude. Like the cleric temple mm. or something. He was just staying at the temple because he had no money to get an inn or anything. No, but I mean the one in his village. I thought it was, he was part of, isn't he like a monk or something? No, we went over that last week. He's, he's, not, not, a he's not a priest. Okay. Yeah. Just staying with priests. But you can make an inside check if you want. Yeah. I do want, actually. I, I, I'm keeping track of him this whole time. Everything... I also do want to like for the specifically the book question I said anything else you should tell us about you know what's happening. Rook got a twenty four insight on this kid. Twenty four. Yeah, I got a nineteen plus five. <laughs> you, damn. Nice. Um, yeah, it's not that high. His story changes. Um, you see kind of subtle little changes that happen, and then kind of overall ideas that change um, as you're talking to him. Um, nothing is kind of the same as what he was talking about before. Um, I, I mean, guess I wasn't the one that made what, the insights. What stays, what stays the same and what stays true is that there's someone taking children. Mm -hmm. Even so much as like the amount of children taken changes. Uh, at one point, he'll say like multiple children a night. Another point, he'll say um, like one a week, stuff like that. So I'm going to pull him aside with Dream. Dream, you up for this? Sure. Classic uh, Rook and Dream shakedown. I'm, I've got my Intimidate check ready. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pull him aside one night after everyone's like at the fire and okay. uh, uh, with Dream. And I'm just going to be like, hey, buddy, um, this has been a really nice change of pace from everything that's been going on. And uh, I know, it's nice scenery, isn't it? Yeah, and your story has been real inconsistent. So you either start making sense or telling us the truth or okay, i'm going to just tell my daughter to do whatever and she's very creative okay so you're trying to <laughs> intimidate um if you are lying about there not being children missing i will kill you there it is all right roll an intimidation <laughs> check <laughs> so i probably would have followed them but stayed hidden somewhere uh still watch them I assume, oh, 26, god damn, wow. <laughs> I'm assuming there's always at least one to two party members unseen in every scene that I make. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly Dash. Um, yeah. I'd be 26 for stealth. 26 stealth, okay. okay. Oh, no, no, I'm currently, you, every once in a while you hear a small explosion in the distance as I'm practicing a spell I got, which I am marking, and I will keep track of how many I use. I would probably hang out with Bishop to try to like either watch him practice or practice myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so back to Maxwell. He says, no, no, no. Okay, don't kill me. So I may have lied about Barrick wanting you guys to come. And okay. I may have lied about having a sibling. And I may have lied about the town hiring you guys but 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 i still have the money it's my money i didn't take it from anybody show uh, me this money he kind of pulls out a pouch i take it and start counting dream keep interrogating eldritch um, blast <laughs> eldritch blast okay all right not on him right like just around him. he lied about his sister being missing that's not cool <laughs> Okay, but don't kill him, Dream. Roll, roll for <laughs> it. The normal dude. <laughs> oh, no. You can't kill him. Oh, I got an 18 again. Um, that's 26 yeah. again. Definitely hits. Roll for damage. Oh, no. oh, my God, Dream. That's so much damage. <laughs> it's really, it's really okay. 10 damage. Okay, you see as it hits him, um, what is your describe your Eldritch Blast? Oh my god! Um, just like I guess an orb of sand swirling forms in my hand and then heads for their face. Okay. <laughs> as it hits his face, you see as he uh, struggles to try and take a breath, um, but after a few minutes, he can't and he falls to the ground. Lay on hands. Lay on hands. All right. Hand. <laughs> As that happened, you drop the the bag of uh, gold. You rush over. Lay on hands and give him CPR. Ten. 
10 uh, points. Up however up much you can completely. <laughs> <laughs> 10 will bring him back up. Um, so as he like wrenches forward after just being uh, knocked on the ground, he kind of goes on all fours and coughs up sand that's coming out of his uh, lungs. He's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, don't hurt me, please. All right. Tell us everything. The truth. Okay. Or that happens again, and I'm out of healing for the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. So I don't have a sister, but one of my best friends, Cora, got taken about a, a three weeks ago or so. And so maybe there's not a lot of kids going missing, but maybe once every once a month or so for for three months, there's been a kid missing. And I did. That is my money. I, I, I I'm an impressive blacksmith, so I made it myself. And I wait. You made the money yourself? No, I. I mean, I earned the money myself. And Barrick didn't want to do anything. He said he's going to take care of it, but I didn't. I wanted to do something to help, to help her. And that's why he doesn't really know that you're coming. And and but the money's good. It's still good. That's there's still a contract, right? Yeah. I go back to counting the money. Is it all there? It's all there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to hold on to this. Okay. <laughs> Whatever and you then, need. Uh, I guess we're going to need a cover story for when we get there because this Lord Barrick does not sound like he's going to be too excited about you bringing a bunch of adventurers from Osrin. <laughs> but I mean, you're going to help us, so he can't be that mad, right? Well, given how my week is gone, yes, he can't be that mad. Okay. <laughs> He'll probably end up blaming us for the missing children the way our luck's been. Uh, we're gonna have to use it. If this town is worried about demons, he's not gonna go over well. I All may right. have overstated the demons too. What? I mean, there there was. I mean, there is a, a kind of a children's song about demons taking people in the night. But I thought that if I said something like that, more adventurers would be wanting you to realize, come. You realize. You realize right now, kiddo that you are in breach of this contract and we could just take this money and go. Please don't. Please. I need your help. We need I your help. I understand that, but you understand what you've put us in, right? I, I understand. Why did you lie so much? I well, want I, a written apology by morning. It's only <laughs> 700 gold and I didn't think that anyone would want to help us other than in the, unless I made up this story. I mean, this is a long way from Jakar. This is a long way from Osrin. I get that, but we would have helped you. I well, mean, I, I'm sorry. Money, we Thank do you. The job. Just be honest about the job. To be honest, the way this job is sounding, it sounds easier than it was before, aside from the Lord not wanting us there. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> You're going to make me some nice armor. Okay, I mean, I'll see if uh, Elroar or Elroar will, but I don't have that skill set yet. All right. Well, you're gonna pull all your little favors to make this up for me. You understand yeah. me? Kid? Okay, I will. All right. Now you're gonna get the Rook special when we sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. I pick him up by the back of the neck and take him back towards the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling your fellow party members? Oh no, Maxwell's going to tell them. I'm going to sit him down and be like, "All right, Maxwell has a story to tell." Okay. <laughs> As he goes through kind of the whole list of things that he just told everyone else. Um, uh, 10 15 minutes later, um, he's done with his story. What do you guys do? throw a rock at him <laughs> all right roll to hit not, not hard but okay you just like toss it at him wait 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 don't do it yet magic stone, magic stone. <laughs> oh, no. no don't do i'm not doing that no i'm just throwing like a pebble at him okay Guys. you're guidancing him throwing a pebble at this way. defenseless person <laughs> as he's sitting there i'll see him kind of like just like we jump out just kind of like <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna try That's to make, I want to try to make him okay. bat it out of the way. Okay. <laughs> just toss that. I, mean, I didn't like throw hard. So you're able to, I would say, bat it out of the way since you're not actually throwing it at him hard. 
Ugh, kid. There's Thank a lot you of for things. telling us, but you should have told us earlier. Thank you for helping. Thank you for still helping. So, in all honesty, if you told the story the way you told it here, more people probably would have tried to do it. Well, I don't know. I mean, adventurers are kind of, are looking for like exciting things, right? Not just come. I don't know. Okay, so yeah. I'm sorry. Tell us about you this like Lord Duke. Is he going what to be mad when we get there? Do we have to deal with Yeah, what do we too? need to prepare for? I mean, I don't... You guys are here to help, right? You're already paid, so it's just extra hands. So I don't think he'll be angry. We seem to get into situations where we piss people off when we try to help. Is... Well, maybe don't piss him off. Well, that's what we're, I'm asking. How do we not piss him off? Is there anything that he likes in general? Um, I... I don't know. Uh, I know that he's, I mean, a strong fighter. I know he tried to kind of handle the situation on his own. Um, he's been a good lord so far. I mean, the Sutton's pretty prosperous. Additionally, now that you're actually going to tell us the truth about the numbers of people that were taken, can you tell us more about, is there any pattern to this? Any rhyme or reason as to the type of individual being taken aside from age? Uh, age is kind of similar around, uh, I mean, in ranging from seven years old to 14. Um, the actual time frame is about a month or so, uh, once every month for the last three months. So uh, Cora is the third child taken, and that was about three weeks ago. So we're, uh, what was the moon three weeks ago, uh, Gimbal? The moon phase three weeks ago. Um, can I roll for that, or do I know it? Um, you know it was a new moon? I don't know. Uh, new moon, it was, it was completely <laughs> dark. Yep. Is it always on the new moon that a child goes missing? I don't know if it's to the day, but typically, well, I mean, around that time. Around, so it wouldn't yeah. be day, Well, the difference between yeah. the solar calendar and the lunar calendar is minute, but it does change. Are they... All females, all males? Uh, a mix of there's two females and a male. Do you know the other... The other kids that were taken, did you know them well? Um, not really. Um, do they... Are they only children? Do they have siblings? Do they have both their parents? Are they all... Do you know... Are I they think different Selma... Races? The first child, I think she has a brother, um, and uh, Dean, the second child, uh, I think he's an only child. Are they all, what race are all of them? Uh, they're all human. Okay. I give his coin pouch to Gimbal, because Gimbal takes care of all the money. Um, anything else? Any other questions? Why did you you only lied because you thought we wouldn't take the job otherwise? Yeah, I mean it was only seven hundred dollars I can offer. It's it was four hundred dollars just to get to the Titans Gate, so it's not like anyone would make a lot of money off of this. Insight check, really quick, just to be safe. Go for it. 22. 22? Um, yeah, he's telling the truth. Okay. After dying, he's telling <laughs> the truth. <laughs> I brought him back. <laughs> <laughs> we do need to talk about that particular tactic during the future. <laughs> <laughs> I am upset because this is, I don't appreciate being derailed on this bogus mission when we have Miranda to find still. So. Well, we need this money to go find Miranda, so, right? And there's still mm -hmm. kids missing. There's still three kids that we could potentially find. It's just not as many as I said before. Yeah, but Gimbal's mom is literally... It doesn't matter, but we have our own problems as well. You understand? I understand. That, you know, lying to us was not okay. All right. Good enough. Team meeting. And Maxwell, you can stand here for it. 
So Max Flow is technically in breach of contract. So we are within our rights to take the payment and go. No, so, absolutely not. Well, we open it up to a vote. Of course, I also vote no, but it's up to you. Or we have other stuff we could be doing. So it's only fair that everybody gets a say. I think we're all in agreement. There are lives at stake. Innocent lives. Very well. Then we continue to settle. Maxwell, you got lucky on this one. A different adventuring group wouldn't have made that choice. Thank you. I understand. Thank you again. Mm. Now let's go to sleep. I will, uh, I'll cast Liamans when we reach the end of our travel day so that we can have some okay. more to sleep comfortably and safe. Got it. And I give him the rook special. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's when he oh, like spoons him and doesn't <laughs> let him go while he's sleeping. <laughs> um, sorry. Go ahead. Oh no! I was making a comment. Oh, got it. So yeah, you guys go down for the night. Um, in the so how big is the hut? Uh. It's enough to, to comfortably fit nine people. Yeah, it is it is very small, though. Okay. Describe, um, like, the decor and everything that's outfitted inside of it. Oh, oh it's just a dome. Yeah, it is a, it's it's a just flat. a glowing oh, eggshell that could fit nine people in it. It's just a flat dome that means it's like oh, it's just a wall of force, basically, but... You're, so it's just a radius, a mobile dome of force. I will say that um, it does have, like, a light glow that shifts colors, kind of like a like a color equivalent of a noise machine throughout the evening. So it's always very soft blues and reds and yellows and green. So it's like a DVD menu for finding me. Yes, there you go. It feels like that. So like when your eyes are closed, you can kind of see the color shift across. <laughs> um, but it is a 10 foot radius. So 20 okay. feet across. Cool. Anyone else doing anything before sleep? All right. So as you guys all lay down to rest, uh, Dash, as you lay down to uh, do your meditation, you are back to that same uh, small blacker than black room with this figure. Hey, at least now we know it's not an external force doing it to you, Dash, because it couldn't get through the hut. <laughs> with this figure, slowly again shoving the knife into your chest twisting it she kind of gets down to you and says do you wish me to stop no very well she shoves it in more and you wake up How long have I slept at this point? Uh, you've full rest. Yeah, full four hours. Does Dream get an insight check when he wakes up, obviously, like, from a nightmare? <laughs> I, in this confined space, you can see that he woke up from a nightmare. He's sweating. He's panting. Um, there's no real need for an insight check. You can definitely see, like, he went through something in his dream. Or dream. Did you have a nightmare? Yeah. What happened? It's... Have I, have I ever told everyone about the dream before? Yeah. Yeah. I think no. not the extent of what happens, though, right? Just that you have weird dreams that are strange. Remember we all talking about how he also had a demon that was torturing him when he slept. Yeah, that's all he said, though, that, that line. Um, just having that, that dream again where that demon's hurting me. And did it ask if it should stop or keep going again? Did I tell you guys that they asked yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it just kept doing it. Well, I guess you didn't give that to somebody else. And if he, if she's back now. I just don't know why it would be back. You should ask her. Can you do that in the dream? I can try it. I can try next time. Yeah. Be like, what do you want? That's what I say. Wait. 
I'll try next time. All right. As the sun rises and everyone else wakes from their slumber, um, Maxwell, cuddle up really comfortably <laughs> inside of the Rook special. <laughs> um, getting ready to uh, depart for the day, um, the last maybe four hours before you reach Sutton. Um, the caravan wakes uh, pretty early and as the sun comes up to start going. Uh, you guys doing anything else? Uh, okay. As uh, field. Okay, make a perception. Seven again. <laughs> you guys come to, uh, and you have uh, control of all of your pieces. So, if you guys can see that, go ahead and put them where you think you'd be. We're still just traveling through the road right now, right? Yep. Can you see on roll 20? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna... Probably scouting yeah. ahead. Okay. I'm probably kind of towards the middle-ish. Actually, how high is this stuff? Or this stuff here? Um, that there is probably going to be um, 15 feet tall. It looks like a like a rotting down like side of a wall or mm. keep. Actually, I'm gonna kind of like w walk up to there just to look and like do that like glance by as you kind of like we trot past like what's in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, but I've we're just waking up here. Or this no, is so this here. this is after traveling for a few hours. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I honestly probably would have climbed on top of this to get like a vantage point if it was possible. Okay. Um, you can make a perception as well. Mm. 15. 15? Guys, I don't have so. Probably need those, huh? <laughs> Apologies to oh, viewers you don't have of a, adjusting uh, yeah. map as we are uh, playing. <laughs> I'm assuming there's figurines. What'd you get, buddy? Fifteen. Fifteen? All right. You do see, as you climb up there, uh, you see right in front of you one figure holding a bow, and as he looks up and, and sees you, he points the bow at you and shoots the arrow. What? And roll, f roll for initiative. Ooh, you badass battle. Blah, 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 blah. 21. <laughs> 21, you said? Yep. OK. All right. Uh, Jared, what'd you get? Not good. <laughs> all right, Dream, what'd you get? Um, we all suck today. Uh, Gimbal? Nine. <laughs> Oof. And then Rook. 18. All 18. The casters are just lolly gagging. Okay. <laughs> all right. As you see the the one bowman uh, stretch back his his quip or his bow and uh, go to shoot for you, you're up first. Ash, what are you doing? Um, I would probably call out to everyone that there's someone behind. Okay. There. Um, and then I'm gonna shoot at him. Cool. Yeah. Go ahead. So did he deliberately miss me, or did he just? So you're first in initiative roll. So he's in the process of attacking you. You were just fast. Um, 17 to hit. 17 hits, yeah. Twenty-six. 
26 points of damage. All right. 26, as you see his uh, arrow coming and you uh, shout out, uh, what do you shout out? Guys, there's someone behind this wall. Someone behind this wall as you pop it over and uh, quickly shoot him. Uh, it stabs him right in the leather armor on his shoulder. Uh, uh, it looks like the impact did a uh, pretty significant amount of damage to him. Next up is Rook. Uh, so this is probably an ambush. Uh, sorry. Uh, I guess I will 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, go right there. Okay, make a perception. Okay. 17. Yeah, so you see um, as you uh, kind of jump over a smaller part of the wall, uh, you see right ahead uh, the guy that uh, Dash was talking about readying another arrow since the one flew out, since he took it to the shoulder. Um, and what do you do? Uh, I will attack him with fervor. Okay. Doing reckless or anything? Uh, no, I shouldn't need it, I don't think. Okay. Uh, okay, so, uh, that was, uh, uh, <laughs> 24, uh, 19 plus 9, and a 5 plus 9. Yep, they all hit. All hit. Wait, okay. no, 5 plus 9 doesn't. Okay. Um, a little squishy. <laughs> so, two hits then? Two hits, yep. So that is, oh, I didn't rage. So that's eight, six, uh, 12, 10, 22 for both punches. As I come around, I just kind of like slide in, uppercut, and then bring my knee up. I don't know. <laughs> Got it. Um, as you come up, you smash the, the arrow out of his um out of his hand and you bring up a knee straight to his face um, as he's reeling backwards from that attack. Uh, next up is going to be um, him. So he's going to uh, ditch the bow and uh, pull out uh, a sword and see if he can stab you. And we had a long rest since I used healing, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, so that is a 19 to hit. That will hit. And a, a non-hit. <laughs> so the first one will do uh, eight points of uh, slashing damage. Uh, so reduce since you're raging. Uh, I was not raging, actually. Oh, okay. So <laughs> yeah, full eight points. And then you see... Oh, Lord. Popping out with bows, um, or sorry, arrows knocked. They do two more. Uh, this one is actually going to attack Dash, and this one's going to attack Rook. So for Dash, that is 18. Yep. All right, that's going to do nine points of damage to you. Which one's attacking? Uh, this guy. Can you see that? No. Uh, um, what about now? Okay, and then this one's attacking Rook. So his second attack on you, Dash, is less than that, so he's not going to hit. Um, the one that's attacking you, Rook, 19 to hit, and does not hit the second one. So another nine points of damage to you um, as he uh, shoots the arrow straight at your chest. And then we have Oh, my word. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. What? So this oh, this one here's gonna attack dream uh, 
Dream, what's your AC? Four, 14. Okay. Uh, hitting you once, doing uh, 12 points of damage. You should uh, protect the casters. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> but I am a caster. <laughs> These two look like Gimbal are the one that they can see, so they're going to attack you, Gimbal. Mm -hmm. what's, what's your AC? A lot. Okay. <laughs> 16. How much, if you could, like, quantify it? Okay. On a scale of 1 to 25, where would you say it was? <laughs> uh, three attacks getting through. Uh, shield. Uh, what does that bring your AC up to? 25. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Blah, blah, that's not, that's not true. That's not true. Sorry. <laughs> um, it is uh, 21. 21. Um, so it takes out one of the okay. attacks. So two of the attacks still get through. Twenty-four points of damage total to you, as the first one um, shoots straight through. You can see it crash into the the shield and uh, cracks uh, emanate from it. The second one uh, looks like the same spot or similar spot, pushing the other arrow through, hitting oh you in the God. chest, and the, and the last one um, going through and hitting your other chest. And then uh, this last one here is going to only one hits. Arcane Ward. Two of them. Two of them. Two of them. Oh, no, but only, total of, only one of them actually gets to Total injury. of 25 points of damage. Oh, no, his shield, his arcane yeah. shield thing. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> they did a lot of damage. As one, one of them got into me. The second one uh, <laughs> hits your arcane shield and, and flies off again, and the, the third one hits you straight. Sorry, this question and then was Bishop, excited about Jump. my magic shield. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Several Bishop, shields here. Uh, this one guy is going to attack you here. What is your AC? 18. 18? Okay, so one gets through doing... Seven points of damage. Okay. All right. At that point, Dream, you're up. All right. So I'm going to hex this guy right here. Can you see that I clicked on who I'm clicking on? No? I Maybe can't. Not. If you hold it down, do the, I... the little uh, thing. Oh, there's There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, so suffer to that guy, okay. and then two Eldritch Blasts in the face. Oh, man. <laughs> so I got an eight and a nine on those. Seven. Total eight? No, neither of them hit. Yeah. You're kind of um, still reeling and confused as what's going on in the, the arrow you took to the shoulder. Okay, and then I'm just going to, like, move. Can I get partial cover from, like, right here? You could, the thing. better one would probably be behind one of the behind wagons. Us. Yeah, right. uh, just because this is really close to those guys. Okay. Okay. I moved. Next up is Gimbal. Um, I am going to... Oh, gosh, what am I going to do? Wow, awful lot of guys in a 20-foot radius spear over there. I know, but I don't <laughs> know if they're bad or not. Uh, what do they look like? They did attack you, though. Yeah, but like, what if they're guarding something that we just walked into? Um, they don't look like, uh, they don't have a, a set uniform. Okay, cool. Uh, it kind of looks like they were in what this world would consist as like a ghillie suit, like waiting for the ambush. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I'm willing to read a book by its cover. Um, <laughs> and I will fireball these three cash, guys over too. here. I'm gonna have cash in this. Okay. They were, they were very polite, Gimbal, and wore flammable clothing for you. <laughs> oh, those ghillie suits. <laughs> What's the DC? Um, their DC that they're trying to get a 16 for dex. 16? Uh, two of them make it. Uh, we'll say middle guy here does not. Heck yeah. I'll take at least one not making it. That's fine with me. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, fireball. <laughs> what do I ever do? <laughs> did I do it right? You guys can see my health bar. Oh no. We should be able to see my health bar. Yeah, we sure can see your health bar. Alright, I don't know if everyone else can though. It's really small, so I don't know. If... Yeah. Let's see how far. Um, fifteen. Damn. It. Yeah, I think you have to set it up so that they could see it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Fifteen. That's all you did. Fifteen. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> it was eight and six, right? Oh, hang on. Where's one more? <laughs> Fuck. Seventeen. Seventeen points of damage. Got it. 
17 points of damage. I didn't want to do this! <laughs> and then 8 points for the guy that made it. I like your hair like that, Diva. <laughs> Next up after Gimbal. We're all gonna um, die. I love your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, still kind of unsure as to whether these are uh, kind of enemies or you're like maybe protruding on their land or something. Uh, you held back a little bit and did 15 damage to, to some and then 8 damage to and one. And I did use my reaction Next to is... cry out, we don't want to kill you if you just let us through. It's okay. a warning shot. <laughs> Next up is going to be <laughs> Bishop. All right, I'm going to move up over here and kind of like peering through here, looking at not only them, but them over here. I'm going to cast um, the Minute Meteors. Okay. And I will use my bonus action to then fling one at each group. So one here and one here. Okay. Does that allow you to shoot all of them in one bonus action? Oh, no. no you get to shoot um, one or two. Okay. So and you're shooting six, one at this guy six orbs and then one as, down here? Yeah, as a bunch of bluish flamed motes of little magic stones... They're oh, twirling around like a, like a little, <laughs> little uh, you crown. have to make you have to make an attack roll, right? Yes. No. Okay. Wait, no, no, these are dex. No, it's a dex. dex? Okay. Yeah, they each need a dex. Save. What's your DC? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Also, Jared, uh, keeping with the tradition of pulling out the most obscure D and D spells in the book. <laughs> that's <laughs> actually that's my go-to spell. I always pull really? it on whoever. Yeah. Um. Because as a bonus, it's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. um, so this guy, this guy makes it, and mm -hmm. these two don't. So right. I'll roll the first one. The is first that first set for him? Yeah, yeah. So is that damage going to be AOE, or is there damage for hitting and then it exploding? No, no. It's just it's just like a mini straight fireball AOE. Spell. Okay. And yeah. what's the rate? What's the radius of that? The radius five feet. So I could hit the two on the bottom that made the that um, failed the saves, but not the third guy. So okay. I have to like hit it right here, and it'll hit this. Well, pretty cool. much that whole circle that pops up. So that guy is safe, and then this guy is just, just getting one for himself. I'll roll for the first guy with the reduced damage. There's yep. two separate ones. That is six, have the three. And then Points. double sixes for the two guys down there. Okay. So 12. And then that is like my bonus action and action damage. So I'm just going to like turn to hunker down to get cover from all of them. So kind of like Right. Oh, cool. Right okay. there. Okay. Let's stay in the squares, though. Yeah. That square for <laughs> that, but like how I'm getting cover. <laughs> Got it. How did you um, even get outside of the squares? Mine I'm a magician. You can oh, change okay. it in the settings to do. Like, snap, if you hold the, the control, hold control when you move your piece. All right. Yeah. Top of the round. Dash, what are you doing, bud? Um, okay, so this is the guy that I hit already. Yep. How does he look? Um, a little worse for wear, but still pretty good. So this guy's taking damage. These two have, and then anyone else? Let's see. Everyone except for this guy and this guy. Dash, we should clean up our side so we can help the others. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack this guy. Both? I think you can take that guy, Rook. I mean, I'm going to try. <laughs> Are you attacking with the bow? Screw it. I'm going to attack this guy with the bow. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Some my neighbor just like started shredding guitar, like, <laughs> nowhere. And I'm like, what? This, this has never happened before. It's for the battle, man. He's excited. Yeah. I mean, it's a great soundtrack. I'm not gonna lie. It's so weird. So like, it's when you don't speak, nothing happens, and then when you talk, you get this weird like just a little vibration. So your mic must yeah. be like activated as you talk, which is very cool. <laughs> yeah. Um. I found my headset and I borrowed and whipped him from Mark this time. Um, it's 24 to hit. 24 definitely hits, yeah. 
23 points of damage. 23 points of damage. Yeah, so how are you killing him? Um, Through the eye. Okay. I scream at him so he gets, I get his attention. He looks at me and just... You say, like, to make it more cinematic, you say, Rock, duck! Uh, as he ducks, uh, it goes straight over his head through the eye um, and hits the, the wall right behind him. With the eyes still attached. <laughs> um, and then I think at that point, I have a clear shot on this guy, right? You do, okay. yeah, because you're you're up top, so you're maybe okay. uh, 10, 15 feet off the ground. Okay, cool. Love it. Um, I'm gonna stay there then, yeah. Okay. All right. Next up is Rook. As you see, uh, you duck down, you see the guy straight in front of you just topple straight back. What are you doing? Um, okay, so he's going to be removed from the map, I'm assuming? Nope, he's a zombie. Jeez. Really? Oh, damn. <laughs> Not <laughs> <again. have> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to activate. Uh, I would like to enter into a barbarian mood. Okay. And then move here. Does that give me any cover from the ones across the way? Yeah, it does, except for this one. This one can still see you. So what about there instead? Yeah, that'll give you good cover. OK, and then I'm going to make my attacks. OK. And I'm going to recklessly attack. All right. So All right. Then. Okay, so 13 plus 8 is a number, uh, 21, 18, and 21. 21, 18, yeah, all three hit. All three hit? Okay. Yep. Uh, so on my first two, I am going to smite. <clears throat> all right. Yes! <laughs> You're the power. All right, so my first hit is for 16 damage. Oh, no, 16 plus 9, so 27 damage, right? Oh, all right, 27 points of damage. Mm -hmm. And as you're smiting, you see the, um, the, the red scarlet bands that are visible around your arm uh, kind of bleed through in, into your, uh, your gauntlets, and you can see them through. And as you hit, you see the, the energy just spurs straight out through the punch. Yes. Uh, second one is going to be 20 damage. Oh, wait. And then the last one is just 1d8. Uh, 5 plus 8 is 13. So, so that was a 28, a 20, and a 13? 27, a 20, and a yes. Yes. 60 damage. All right. How are you killing him? Yes. <laughs> um, oh, Paladins. I'm thinking that he looks really good pacing against that rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, as you do your first one, slam him against the rock. Um, you see the energy um, kind of uh, pushing him in with such force that he sinks into the rock a little bit. Um, and then your, your next two hits uh, just hammer him through so his chest is caved in while the rest of his body is kind of stuck there as you leave. Okay, and then I have 20 feet of movement left, so I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20 towards that guy. Okay. Foaming at the mouth and very, very much so in a rage. Very angry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next up are going to be these guys here. So he's actually going to pick up a, uh, a halberd from the wall. He's going to go right up to you, and he's going to make two attacks with the halberd. Using a halberd, wouldn't he stay at least? He'd be, yeah, just double. That's true, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's your AC? 18. 18, okay, both hit, um, doing a total of... Twenty-four points of damage, so reduce. Well... Um, 
And then with those two attacks, he's going to flip over to the, the blunt side of his uh, halberd and hit you again. He has a feet? <laughs> All of my um, characters have That feet. one hitting uh, with five points of damage. Reduced. Okay. Reduced, so that's two. Yep. All right. Like <laughs> All right. He's gonna climb. No, actually, he's gonna pop over. Sorry. Up there more. Can you guys see that? It looks like my roll twenty is giving me a error. Can you see that move that I just did? Yeah. I can now, okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, he's gonna move up there. Um, five, ten. He's going to move over this way. And they're both going to move in here. Um, one can see you dash, or he's going to take his attacks at you. Not my dash. Not dash, sorry, Bishop. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them hitting. Why did you say anything? Nine points of damage. Yep. Uh, these ones... Your full cover, your full cover. These ones can't really spot anyone else. I guess you can see Dash that's on the top there. So he's going to attack Dash. Who is this? This guy. Uh, both of them hitting, doing... Twenty points of damage. What? Don't forget about your uncanny dodge, Dash. Oh yeah. So what are the two hits? Um, we'll, we'll just the, break we'll it even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Ryu. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Next up is going to be Dream. Okay, so two more Eldritch Blasts at this guy again. He's All right, still go for hexed. It. Oh my god. Um, so 13 plus 8 is 21, and 8 plus 3 is 11. Uh, 21 hits, 11 does. Okay. For 16 plus 5, 21 damage. 21 damage. All right. Um, as you you keep the kind of ball of, of swirling sand in your hands and you peek out of the side and kind of uh, sidearm it towards him, so you smacks him in the uh, in the face um, and he's a little confused, a little put off, and you see the uh, little scratches on his face where the sand whizzes by. Um, and then the second one, you try it again, but he dodges out of the way. That's my girl. And you all died. So, oh no! What happened? Thanks for tuning in, guys. God no. damn it. <laughs> hey y'all, sorry about the other all right. pause there. We just had a little bit of technical di difficulties out of nowhere. So thanks for uh, hanging in. All right. So from there, uh, dream just went? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Gimbal, you're up. What are you oh, doing? Oh, you. Oh, oh. Um, I'm going to. Um, Excuse me. Um, I got some fireballs left. They're going over uh, to these gents here. Which ones? The two that are closer together, so I can get them at once. These guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So another. Uh, Don't hit the horse. No, no, no! I got it out of the way of the wagon of the horses. <laughs> and what's the DC? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, one closest to the wagon makes it. This guy does not. Cool. 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 More than 17, more than 17. I think you should be able to hit all three of them if you targeted it, right? Yeah. Do I need another? Yeah, I think if you put it. Oh, it's here. a 20 foot radius. Jesus Christ, it's huge. Yeah. Excuse my language. So if you put it here. Oh, yeah, I'd like to hit all three of them, please. Could I get another deck save mark? Sorry. Yep, he does not make it. Well, which one are you doing? This one? Uh, this one. Oh, I'm. I can't. I can't tap see my screen. It's when not you, helping you when you tap the uh, screen. <laughs> yeah, the one by the south of the wagons. Okay, got it. Yeah, he does not make it. Yeah, we can't see him on screen right now because it's. Uh, there we go. There he is right there. Um, okay, so that is ten, 
20, 23 damage. 23 damage. All right. Doing what I can. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. <laughs> um, you see all of them have uh, singed, uh, they singed the leather on their armor, and any of the, the clothing that they're wearing is kind of uh, patchy now and, and charred, um, as you did a pretty significant amount of damage. You said 20, how 20, many? 27? 20, 20, 27 is only that. Yeah, what you said. What the DM said. Next up is going to be Bishop. What are you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna have to look at my phone because my roll twenty is mm -hmm. frozen for some reason on a black screen. So I am going to if I'm going to turn around the base of the cart, staying out of their melee range for twenty five feet, so that I'm about ten feet to the bottom right of them. Like, both of them are within 10 feet of me. And as I'm oh, running there, I'll launch there. two of the meteors as I'm moving there. Oh, I, I'm back. Ha. Ah. Let me. Yes, right there. So before I get to that point, I'm going to launch. Or no, right, right there, I'll launch two of the meteors. Right here, hitting them both. So I need two different deck saves, so one for each. And the DC 16? Yeah. So... What's the highest they can be? That. <laughs> okay, um, they all. Uh, my nuts. All the deck saves miss, or they don't make it. All right. So, for the first little meteor, they take eight. For the second meteor, they take four. So twelve total. And then, as my action, I will thunder step. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna go. Right there, and then use my last little bit of movement to get cover. And I need constitution saving throws from each of them now. <laughs> get it. Save, 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 save. Um, this one you makes it. This one does not. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, so. So what's I don't the damage have right my now? D10s with me, so bam. 19. 19, so half for one of them? Yeah. Um, with all that damage, that's enough to down both of them how are you doing it so when i'm turning around the cart kind of imagine each of the little motes of fire above me come down and i like i'm, I'm stealing some fire bending from <laughs> essentially <laughs> do it bam, man do it bam. and then for the extra flare since i'm already going you know team avatar i'll slam to the ground in like an earth stance and then <laughs> and that's how i'll teleport away is the whole ground okay. trembles Every sorcerer in a secret would be Avatar. Just for my friend. Just <laughs> <you>. <laughs> and then I get some cover. <laughs> All right, as you end your turn there, uh, absolutely demolishing those two bad guys. Short. Next up is Dash. Um, <clears throat> oh, I forgot to. Shoot, Does this guy take him damage? Doesn't matter. I'm going to attack this guy up here by Rook. Okay, go ahead. Make sure we move the map again. I'm working on it. Yep. Yip yip, Coulter. Yip yip. It's <laughs> <laughs> a miss. Yeah, we've been binging that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks, Mark. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's a miss. what I do? That's a miss? Okay. Um, as you yeah, shoot the arrow at him, he, uh, he ducks out of the way um, as he's uh, ready with his hopper. Next up is Rook. All right, step into his parlor, as it were, and reckless attack. All right. All right, so that is a seven plus nine is, God, I need to learn addition. Um, 16. 16. 16 does not 16. hit. Okay, 16, and then a 16 and 17 plus nine both should hit. Yep. Okay. And I am tapped as far as spells go, so I won't do that this time. Uh, okay, so that's going to be a 7 plus 8, 15, and a 10. So 25 total damage. 25 total damage? All right. Yeah, as I just want to him. All right, you go. I'll be faint, right? Um, 
catch him with a, a jab and then a haymaker to the side of the head. Um, next up is the guy. So uh, as you do that, as you kind of send him reeling, he brings down the halberd onto you. Both hitting. I gotta stop recklessly attacking, guys. <laughs> I know it's a class people, but it's not working out. I mean, not against guys that we know have 17 plus AC. 30 <laughs> points of damage for the two hits. And then his bonus action hit is hitting with eight points of damage. So 17 and eight? Yep. So eight and four. Okay. Wait, no, it was 30 total. 30, well, so it was 30 total for the first two hits, right? Oh, so I thought you said 17. Mm -mm. Oh, shit. 30, uh, so that halves the 15. Yep. Then the eight halves the four, so 19 total. Okay, so I took eight and four. How much more do I need to take? So. Uh, 18. 18. Oh, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> you took how much? Eight and what? Just eight and four. You need to take five more. Okay. All right, I'm under half health, if that matters to anyone. That's the <laughs> first? <laughs> no, he's bitched about this before. I've been dropped yeah. before, remember? Yeah, because no. you took on the stupid dude. No, Wait, was that I when you dropped... took on an entire army on your own? Is that what that was? That what that was? <laughs> when I jumped off the castle walls and rushed into an army? Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, Archer's going to attack Dream. Not Dream. Uh, neither of them hit, and then um, guy on the ground's gonna attack Gimbal. Marf. One of them hitting. Uh, shield. <laughs> Doing... uh, okay, what does the shield bring it up 21? to again? 21. All right, just barely oh. missing it. Average All right. FTW. <laughs> as he brings the the sword down um and it's uh you bring up the shield and it pops it out of his hand um next up is gonna be dream um i'd like this guy that i have been teta teting with to make a wisdom saving throw wisdom all save. of the dead and what's your ac or dc 16. sorry 16 16 Constitution does not wisdom. make it. Oh, but it's wisdom. Oh, wisdom? But it's really... Wisdom still doesn't make it. It's even further <laughs> away from <laughs> Okay, so 8 plus 5 is 13 damage. 13 Boom. points of damage. And don't forget with all the dead, you roll 2d12s. I did roll 2d12s. Oh, okay. I didn't get very good rolls on my d12s. <laughs> and it's the guy right next to you, right? Um, this guy right here, bling, a bling. I'm not seeing a ping. That's weird. Okay, so yeah, the guy that's got it. Cool. Yeah. They're oh, is he up. right next to us all of a sudden? Yeah. 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 Oh shit! <laughs> Didn't see that. So just now. <laughs> okay. Can I also take a guarded step or something five feet away? No. All right. Take your action. Yeah. Um. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you can't do a ranged spell attack within five feet. Right? Yeah, probably oh, not. I didn't know he was right next. He didn't. To me. She used the save spell, so it's not a ranged spell. Save. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. So, how do you kill him? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> um, his eardrums explode, oh. and sounds of blood just come out of the ear holes. As you yeah. see him bring his sword down um, and get ricocheted off of the shield spell, uh, and you see his eyes go wide as he screams, but his scream is cut off, and the blood running down his ears, he just drops to his knees and falls to the ground. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, next up after Dream is Gimbal. I'm going to say, real quick, Gimbal, I'm going to say to my guy, it doesn't sound like this fight is going very good for your friends. <laughs> uh, so the one in front of Dream is gone now? Are you making any kind of intimidation or anything? No, I'm just stating Okay, you're just saying. Okay. <laughs> so the one in front of Dream yeah. is gone? Yep. Um, is the, is uh, this guy, has he taken damage yet? 
Uh, he's taking minimal damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to totally dead him. Yes. <laughs> right. a wisdom save. Dream inspired me. That does not make <laughs> he it. He doesn't make it? <gasps> nope. <laughs> <laughs> this never happens to me. It really never happens. <laughs> and it didn't happen to JK. 17 damage. On a 17, all right. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> so Gimbal sees the blood coming out of that man's ears and goes, <laughs> and sends it that wave of energy across behind that wall and shakes his head as if a uh, symbols had crashed against his ears. You, it hits him, and you can see it hit him in the chest. Um, and he, he kind of is losing his orientation, and he throws up a little bit on the ground. <laughs> um, Bishop, you're up. I never wanted to All right. Now. I'm going to move six spaces, because that guy there's gone. I'm having some lag, so like some of the things aren't moving. So move there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully it'll move. Refresh your page real quick, but what are you doing... All right, so you, know, you see where the blue horse's head is? Yep. If I use all my movement, I can be two spaces above it. Okay. That guy's gone. So what I'm going to do right? is... Hmm? is that, I thought Grim killed that guy. Am I wrong? There's only no, two. No, there's a guy there's two. up near Dash. Yeah, there's two guys. There's one next to Rook and the one on the left of where Dash. Yeah. Oh, this one okay. Here. I see what you're yeah. saying. This one Sorry, here. yeah. On my screen, I still have the guy in front of Dream. Yeah, yeah he has the middle leg. Yeah, roll twenty and okay. get it crap together. Roll twenty is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so it's much really in this good. time of COVID nineteen. <laughs> um, I am going to send one of the just. I'm How send many more do you have? Years. I oh, have six more? total, and I've sent two volleys, so I have one last volley. Okay. And I'm going to send two. I'm going to send them to him. Okay. There With it is. Love. It just updated. Yeah. So two deck save throws from him. Uh, one make, one miss. So the make is eight, have to four, and the miss is seven. And then as my action, since that's not actually a spell, or it doesn't take up casting a spell, I am going to... Yeah, I'm just going to Guiding Bolt. Is that guy still alive? Yep, he's still alive. I'll just hold the dead. Wisdom saving throw. <laughs> All right. Does not make it. 2d12s, right? Not very wise, this one. Let me find my d12s. Yeah, just going to type it. As y'all are about to hear at home, just going to be a little ding. 18. Oh. Didn't come through. <laughs> it's me that doesn't have actual connection. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 18 points of a psychic damage from Toll the Dead. 18 points damage, okay. All right, still up. He's looking worse for wear, though. Um, as you send the two uh, orbs straight ahead, um, one of them exploding and making the other one explode right next to it, doing a kind of a cacophony yeah. of of damage uh and then after that you shoot the same uh kind of wave of energy at him as he's reeling over throwing up from the first one he hits him again and he throws up again um next up is going to be dash make him throw up again again. um i'm gonna go the one that's by rook okay bow again Ooh, um, 17 to hit. 17 is what you need. Yes. Now we know they're AC. <laughs> At last. <Oof. laughs> Damn it, Saber Suck, oh. you betrayed me. 29 damage. 29 damage. All right. Um, as you send the arrow straight for him, uh, uh, slams him in the knee, uh, pushes him off balance as he catches himself. I uh, see the arrow still sticking from his knee. Uh, next up is Rook. All right. Uh, so we're still up. 
Yeah, you know what? Still... No, he's still up, yeah. Does he look okay? Does he just look... made a new Skyrim uh, guard. He is not looking okay. He's not looking okay? No. He's got throw up all over himself. <laughs> that was the other guy. The other but guy. This guy. <laughs> Arrow sticking out of the knee. All right, I'm going to attack him once recklessly. Okay. Uh, for... Uh, hang on. That did not work the way I wanted it to. For 16, which will not hit. Nope. So I will hit him again recklessly. This one for 21. Yep. Okay. Hit him once for 13 damage. All right. How do you kill him? Uh, this guy, I'm just gonna throat punch and then walk away. <laughs> you just, you're so annoyed, you just boom, <laughs> and then as he's like ah, and falls to the ground, you just walk away casually. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my 40 feet of movement to come around over here to this guy. Okay. And use my last attack against him. Uh, for 25. Yep. And then damage-wise, that'll be 8 plus 8, 16. 16. <laughs> How do you kill this one? <laughs> this one, I'm just going to straight up, like, bicycle kick. You know, like that donkey kick. What is that thing? Drop kick. My dog just just drop kick. Over. <laughs> it's a bit different than the donkey kick, but yeah. <laughs> we'll say that you come over this way. And you donkey kick him straight into the wall. Um, and as he, he hits, he slams his head against the wall. You see uh, blood coming out of his ears and his mouth as he falls limp. And then I turn and go, everybody okay? Still alive. And that brings us out of combat. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Um, that was not... I'll turn to... Maxwell, is this something that you expected so close to your town? Did you not tell us about this? Were you lying about this too? Not at all. No, no, I wasn't. I promise I wasn't. He kind of looks at Dream. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. <laughs> hey, Bishop, you got any uh, wiggly, tingly magic? If you need it, I could do a bit. Wiggly, tingly Get magic. Get over here. I will cast a second level heal for you and i got a new thing i could do today which i might be able to do i'm also going to touch myself for 10. (laughs) (laughs) all right do you need some privacy or are you just gonna open he's gonna heal it out right here (laughs) there we go you get uh, nine plus five, so fourteen Thank points you. of healing from me. And I've used that one. That's Thanks, you know. Get down. That, Get that's down. It. All right. So do we? Oh, I'm gonna check the bodies. I'm gonna search around the area for their stash of loot from previous robberies. Well, I'm gonna check the bodies and then I'll help robbery. him with that. So, okay, J- Hank's checking the bodies. Jared, what are you doing? I'm going doing like a look around to see where they stash any of their stuff they got from other robberies. If okay. they have like a little mini hideout, basically, of where they kept their stuff. I would say do a survival to see if you can track where they came from. Um, Hank, do an investigation to check the bodies. Anyone else doing anything? I think I'll do like walk That's a cool. perimeter around us just to make sure no one else is coming. Yep, perception check. I'm going to climb up onto one of these rocks and do the same. Perception from you as well. 22. So 18 for the survival. Um, as you look around, you don't see they were, they're really particular about covering their tracks. So you don't see any way of them coming in. Um, you don't even know how long they've been here. Uh, either kind of waiting for anybody to come. I rolled a 20 on my perception. Okay. Perception, um, as you kind of look out in the distance, you don't see anything moving uh, or out of the ordinary. You stay there for maybe five minutes just looking at the horizon, seeing if you can catch anything, um, and nothing pops up. Uh, Dream, what'd you get? 18. 18. Same thing for you as well. Um, And then, uh, Dash, what'd you get for your investigation? 22. 
22. Um, you find uh, across all of them probably 200 uh, gold pieces. Oh! Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, a few daggers. It looks like every one of them had a dagger. Uh, two of them had, had halberds, um, bows for, for the lot, plus arrows. Um, just kind of regular equipment you would expect. No rations, no food. Um, nothing else other than kind of those uh, items of war. Um, you do also find on one of the bodies um, a letter uh, addressed to um, <clears throat> the serpent's head. Um, and it looks like a, a contract uh, for um, the disposal of Maxwell, Favin, and company. <gasps> what? The serpent's head. What in the crap, Maxwell? I grab Maxwell and take him to the bodies and say, do you recognize any of these people? Um, very scared. Uh, he kind of looks at, I know, I promise I don't. No one even really knows that I'm Maxwell here. Cabin. I mean, I sent, I sent a message back to Sutton when we got to the Titans gates, but that's really it. That's really it, I promise. Mr. So, er, Insight. I, you are when I said no one knows we're coming and you seemed okay with that. that well, was... you you asked if if Barrick knew that you were coming and he doesn't. Uh but I mean I my mom knows that you're coming and Elroar knows you're coming, but that's it. They just wanted to know that I was okay. So either your mother or Elroar wants to have us killed. Mr. Favin, you are turning out to be more trouble than you're worth. How did you send the message? I'm sorry. I paid someone back in the town to uh, oh. to send it for me. Do we I want to vote again? <laughs> well, we did get a bonus two hundred coins, I guess. Yeah, we're two hundred up. Do we do we want to keep going with this Maxwell guy who every day has some new secret? <laughs> <laughs> also, side note: Do are we splitting that, or are we just getting it all to Gimbal? Also, sign that we joined this caravan. Are there other people here? Yeah, I mean, there were okay. uh, two separate uh, vans themselves. Uh, looks like just the uh, proprietors of the shops were there. They uh, wanted you guys to come along for security as well as kind of giving you a ride. That was your exchange. So basically, this exact situation is why they brought us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm they sorry. weren't obviously bothered with the actual caravans themselves, but just you guys. What was that about? Are we splitting or just giving all the gimbal? We just gave all of our money to gimbal. Gimbal. So 200 more gimbal. 200 more? <laughs> 200 gold. Why do you want it, Dash? Well, no, I'm, I can't remember what we do with it. <clears throat> well, I would. I mean, if we get attacked again because of this bozo, I would say yeah, you know, I we, we still got to help the children. But we got to ditch Maxwell, I think. He's like... We're only, a, we're only maybe an hour or two outside of the town at this point. Maxwell. And also, he's, wanted, he's clearly wanted dead by these people. So if we leave him, he's done. Maxwell? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yes. When we get to town... You're going to take us to your lord, and you're going to tell him exactly what you've done. Right away. Right away. That 100% happened. I'm so sorry. I don't know what these guys are doing. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I search one of the bodies to see if they have like any insignia for Serpent's Head, or if there's any drawing or emblem that was used for them? Um, with the 25 that um, Dash got, there's no insignias or anything like that on it. The only thing to identify these people as like a group of assassins is that letter mm. who looked in the forest to see if we could find where they came from uh that was uh bishop 18 is not a move uh, i'm finding it anybody what role did you do survival wait a minute guidance <laughs> <laughs> I was like point and show you each of the spots that I kind of looked, but I couldn't quite see anything. 19. So plus one is 20. Same. Right. It's still nothing. So here's my thought process. If we're only an hour out of town is what we decided. A couple right? hours. We came. A couple hours? So chances are they were sent from town, and that's why we can't find a camp. I don't think these were 
bandits. I think these were guards or something. Anyway, I don't know if it's a good idea to go straight to the Lord. Maybe we should take a more stealthy approach. I think that the only way to approach something like this is to approach the Lord. I mean, they wouldn't kill us like that, would they? I, I don't know if it matters, but I don't recognize any of them. Yeah, it's a small town. Good. It's, I mean, relatively, there's somewhere around 300. It's still a fair amount. Maxwell. Yeah? I've not threatened you in any way. I have. But I want you to know <laughs> mm -hmm. that I will kill you if you're leading us into something where you're going I, to hurt I my promise friends. I'm not I'm not trying to hurt anybody please is there anything identifiable about the weapons like are they nice weapons um they are I mean on the on the nicer side like they're they're usable weapons um you can no, tell that they've they've had heavy use um okay from the situation that's happening just like all around not being able to track where they are finding the note these are very skilled hired assassins uh, can we just take the weapons and sell them off to the blacksmith in all honesty all right Help them down for metal <laughs> maxwell yeah let's do that who has yeah. the money in Sutton to hire assassins I mean, I don't even know how much assassins would cost. More than us. I don't. What? I mean, I saved for a long time to, to get this money. So, so I honestly. There's a lot of rich people in Sutton, is what I'm asking. I mean, there's a few. It's I mean, a lot of money. Barrick is pretty wealthy. Um, but uh, yeah, for the most part, everyone gets by. There's no outstanding wealthy people that I know about. All right. well, it's someone who has a stake in these missing children, right? Yeah. Why would they want well, to kill him? So my plan is we send Maxwell ahead with the caravan and we enter separate. Maybe that'll get us some distance from this Maxwell caravan. That's not a bad idea. Assuming, assuming that all of these assassins were all of the assassins, no one's going to know who we are. Maxwell, can you keep your mouth shut, please? Yes, I will. I won't say anything to anybody. What if I go kind of stealthy through the forest and get into town before him. Well, you do that, and then the rest of us will also come in separate. Right, but what I'm saying is that way I can get there before him, so I can see if anyone contacts him. Good plan, or... good plan. Take Philip. Okay. Hey, but before we go, Dash, which one did you get the letter off of? Which body, specifically? DM, which one did I get the body letter off of? This one. All right. Flip him over, take a good look at his face, his garb, his robe. Just memorize it. Okay. It's too bad no one has speak with dead. <laughs> <laughs> no clerics in this party. We're all well, but technically, godless heathens. Uh, access to the bitch cleric spell list. Okay. I, I could get it, but there's a few spells I do plan on swapping out, but anyway, I already did that for this level, so next level. All right, so so back into it. So the plan now is to have uh, Max will go back with the caravan, Dash sneak in before, and then you guys sneak in sometime after Dash. Ooh, I hide yeah. the body of the guy somewhere. Like I'll leave all the other bodies, but I'm going to move the body of the main guy who I memorized somewhere okay. else, just in case. Okay. Also, can the, we story for Maxwell, the story for Maxwell, Mark, is mm -hmm. to say that we took his money and left. Okay. Because um, technically, what we're doing. <laughs> did we spend an hour doing this? Can we say we did a short rest? I mean, you can take a short rest before departing again and like holding the caravan back to be able yes. to do a short rest. Yeah. What do you guys think? Is that cool? I can bust out a few healies. I mean, or wouldn't it almost be better for us to camp out and then show up tomorrow so it doesn't look like we traveled? Or, before? I mean, even if we just take the short rest and let the caravan continue and we just walk. 15 minutes behind them, that's not bad, right? Yeah. I mean, also, if we rest it now, I could go, since I only take four hours, I could go like really early morning before you guys would be up into town. Probably be easier looking, to sleep in. Well, looking at the times, this is probably all going to be next session anyway. So we should probably do like just reassess. Brooke, what do you mean? <laughs> 
What are you talking about? Sessions, Rook. I want to keep going. <laughs> All right. So as we're coming to a close, um, right now, what the plan is, is to stealthily operate into Sutton after and separate from Maxwell, correct? I'm going I before Maxwell. Kind of wanna, I almost kind of want to come in from the city from a different direction. Can we okay. circle around through the woods and come as if we're coming from that other town? I mean, it would make sense of, like if we came from a main road, right? Or I guess you're talking about so this is, the road. If you guys can see this, this is the town of Sutton. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the main Oops, road coming in. There is forest here and here. I would say this forest is backed by um, mountains for the most part. You'd have to kind of sneak in pretty close to um, to Sutton, be able to sneak in on this side. This one here, you take a maybe a few hour detour and you can kind of walk into these woods. Um, or the other option is to find the river and come in through boat. And heads up at home, everybody's looking at a map but me. I left roll 20, and I'm working hard to get it rolled back up so y'all can see it too. <laughs> but I'm in the dark with you world. guys. <laughs> world map, yeah. Is there no road to Sutton from uh, this big thing, Diggle Dorm Keep? <laughs> Uh, there's no road from there. Uh, it's all through the uh, actual river or the canal. Uh, so okay. this is. So Let's I go. say we come in walking, maybe like we following the river. Maybe our boat crashed and we walk the rest of the way. I could look at that. Big old dorm. So you guys are coming in this way. Yeah, coming in from the east. Yeah. The main road goes this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then say that we came from Diggle Dorm by river and lost our boat, and then come in from the river, you and Maxwell come from the main road, and then that way we're as distance from that group as possible. So Diggle Dorm being up here. And then we're trying to come into Sutton. So you would you would have to cross the river somewhere here to be able to kind of go onto this side to enter in this way? No, no, I'm saying we come from the south side of the river and say that our boat crashed. Okay. And Mark, we are, we're going to Sutton where it is on the map presently. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I we crossed a bridge at some point in this journey mm -hmm. from Delhurst? Okay. Yes. That was like the first day of your journey okay. was crossing that bridge when we didn't uh, explore. And then this, for the viewers at home, is Sutton. Yeah, I like that plan. Okay, so I'm coming, Maxwell and I are coming from here. You guys are coming along here, right? Yeah. And then Maxwell should enter by himself with you sneaking into the city and giving us some intel with Philip. Suppose don't All right. Me. I mean, I'll ask him if he's okay with it. Don't, don't what, real? I said, don't get caught. <laughs> no shit. Roll well. <laughs> All right, guys, that's where we'll end off, knowing what our strategy is getting into Sutton. Um, hopefully, unbeknownst to the patrons of Sutton, um, we will pick up again here in two weeks, right? Nope. Next week. Next week? But I did last week. Two weeks. Yeah, two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. Got it. We'll Does pick up again. <laughs> Well, we could just watch the stream back, right? Well, I'll pick up again in two weeks. Thank you guys again so much for sticking with us through this time. Uh, I know we had some technical difficulties halfway through, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and we'll be back here in 30 minutes or so with Chronicles Darkness, and we will come up with a tagline eventually. Eventually. eventually.